listening to the wonderful world kids podcast today we are talking about rivers of ice that hold around 69% of the fresh water available on earth we are talking about glaciers so how do these glaciers form why does glacial ice look blue and what is a continental ice sheet Let's find out in today's episode. Hi everyone and welcome to the wonderful World Kids podcast. Today we are talking about glaciers. Glaciers are huge masses of ice that form on land. They cover nearly 10% of the Earth's land area. Glaciers can be found on every continent except Australia. Glaciers form in places where snow accumulates over time. Glaciers are formed when fallen snow is compressed into ice over many years. It takes decades or even centuries for glaciers to form. Glaciers are the best example of how looks can be deceiving. Because even though glaciers look rock solid and still, they're not steady. Glaciers are constantly moving, just like rivers. Now my dear listeners, which part of a glacier Do you think moves the fastest? Is it A, the bottom of a glacier? B, the center of a glacier? Or C, the sides of a glacier? The correct answer is B, the center of a glacier. The weight of the glacier plus the force of gravity gradually causes the glacier to move downhill. And while the glacier is moving, the glacier's center moves faster than the bottom or sides of the glacier. This happens because the ice in the middle of the glacier is less restrained by friction than the ice along the sides and bottom. The sides and bottom of the glacier are slowed down by friction with the underlying bedrock and debris. The speed of glacier movement can vary depending on several factors, such as the slope of the land, the amount of ice and the temperature most glaciers move very slowly only about 160 feet per year but some move as fast as 100 feet per day the yakobshavn glacier in greenland is considered the fastest moving glacier in the world according to gps measurements this glacier's flow has reached well over 100 feet per day since glaciers are giant moving masses they can carve huge chunks out of mountains as they move downhill they can create lakes valleys and other landforms glaciers change the shape of the earth as they flow and because of this they are sometimes called nature's bulldozers like bulldozers they shape the land as they pass over it California's Yosemite Valley is a classic example of a steep-walled, flat-floored valley carved by an ancient glacier. So, how do these glaciers form? Glaciers begin forming in places where more snow piles up each year than what melts. So, snow builds over time with each layer landing on top of the one before. But, as it continues to pile up, A transformation begins. First, the snowflakes are shattered into smaller crystals, about the size of sugar grains. And due to the continuous addition of new layers of snow each year, these crystals get compressed. As they get squished, the air pockets between them shrink and the snow becomes denser. After a few years, Ground snow takes a new form called fern. 
Fern is an intermediate state between snow and glacial ice. Fern forms when snowflakes lose their delicate shapes and become granules due to compression. As years go by, layers of fern build up on top of each other. When the ice grows thick enough, about 50 meters or 160 feet, the fern grains fuse into a huge mass of dense, bubble-free glacial ice. Now, if you have seen a glacier, you would have noticed that the glacial ice looks blue. Glaciers look blue because of the way they absorb and scatter light. Sunlight is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. When sunlight hits an object, some colors are absorbed and some are reflected. The color of the object we see is the color of the reflected light. When sunlight strikes a glacier, the longer wavelengths of light, such as red and yellow, are absorbed by the ice, and the shorter wavelengths, such as blue and green, are scattered back. This scattering of blue light gives the glacier its characteristic blue hue. Freshly fallen snow contains many air bubbles and appears white because the air bubbles scatter all wavelengths of light equally. However, as the snow compacts into glacial ice, the air bubbles are squeezed out and the ice becomes more dense. This causes more absorption of red light and scattering of blue light, making the ice appear more blue. The deeper you look into a glacier, the more blue it appears because the light has to travel through more ice to reach your eye and, therefore, more of the red wavelengths of light are absorbed. Glaciers come in various shapes and sizes, from small ice masses that cling to steep mountainsides to vast ice sheets that can submerge entire continents under a mile-thick ice. So, based on their size and location, glaciers can be classified into several types. Here are five main types of glaciers. Number one, continental ice sheets. The largest bodies of glacier ice are called continental ice sheets. These are large expanses of glacial ice that cover entire landscapes. Ice sheets are more than 20,000 square miles in size. There are only two continental ice sheets on Earth, one in Antarctica and one in Greenland. Together, these two ice sheets store about two-thirds of all the fresh water on Earth. Number 2. Ice Caps Ice caps are primarily found near the polar regions in relatively high elevation areas. They are similar to ice sheets but are smaller in size. They measure less than 20,000 square miles. Number 3. Tidewater Glaciers Tidewater glaciers are glaciers that extend out and terminate into the sea. They can calve or break off into icebergs. Number 4. Valley Glaciers Valley glaciers are long, narrow streams of ice that flow between the walls of steep valleys. They often follow the course of an ancient river valley. Number 5. Piedmont Glaciers Piedmont glaciers form when valley glaciers flow out onto a flat plain. They spread out in a fan-shaped pattern and they can be huge. Glaciers are an important source of fresh water. Nearly 97% of the water available on Earth is salt water and only 3% is fresh water. And out of this fresh water, nearly 69% is locked in glaciers. Glaciers play a crucial role in regulating the temperature of our planet and preventing it from getting too hot. 
since glaciers are composed of ice and snow they are highly reflective of sunlight so when sunlight hits a glacier a significant portion of it is reflected back into space this helps to cool the earth by reducing the amount of sunlight absorbed by the earth's surface glaciers are important indicators of climate change they are very sensitive to changes in temperature and precipitation if the climate gets warmer glaciers will melt if the climate becomes colder glaciers will grow so scientists study glaciers to understand changes in the earth's climate and over the years scientists have observed that glaciers are retreating all over the world that means glaciers are melting faster than they can accumulate new snow this is a clear sign of global warming if all the world's glaciers were to melt it would drastically change our earth sea levels would rise about 70 meters this will change ocean circulation patterns and earth's climate and it will dramatically reshape coastlines and the lives of over 2.4 billion people who live within 100 kilometers of a coast and this brings us to the end of today's episode thank you so much for listening we are always grateful for all your love and appreciation your comments and suggestions help us improve so please write to us and let us know your thoughts about our podcast our email address is wonderfulworld.kids@gmail.com in our next 3 episodes we are doing a three part series about the oceans in our next episode which will be episode number 28 we will talk about the five oceans of the world in episode 29 we will get into the ocean and talk about its layers and what lies at the bottom and in episode 30 which will be our last episode of season 3 we will talk about what's harming our awesome oceans once again Thank you so much for listening and please tune in next time to learn more about the five oceans of the world. This was episode number 27 where we spoke about glaciers. Thank you for listening. See you next week. And until then, keep on wondering.